Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a serial number to an ISO 8601 date in Power Automate. If you enjoy Power Automate, Power Apps, SharePoint, Teams tutorials, feel free to subscribe because I'll be putting out more videos in those areas. So let's get into it. So the other day I was actually importing some Excel data into a SharePoint list. Now I was working with a few dates and I was running into this issue where I was trying to move these date uh, values into a SharePoint list, but they were appearing as serial numbers. And so let me show you, they're appearing as these numbers. And because of that, they weren't inputting correctly and I wasn't able to resolve it uh, using any Power Automate actions. So I had to use a custom expression. So I will show you with that expression and what it looks like here. All right, so as you can see, I have a short list of data and I'll be working with this date field and I already made my SharePoint list containing uh, the columns that I need. So we got a few, sing just single line of text, and then we have one date column right here. And so let me go into Power Automate so I can show you how to convert the number. All right, so this is gonna be an instant cloud flow in my case because I'm just pressing a button, taking the Excel data, moving it into a SharePoint list. So it'll, the trigger will be manually trigger this flow and I will say Excel data to SharePoint list. And then uh, I'll just say I would like dates at the end. So I know what I'm doing. All right. So the first action I'm going to use will be, ex I'll use an Excel action. So I actually want to get the rows from the, uh, the Excel list. So I want to be able to pull this data. So I'll be using a list rows present in a table location so this file is actually located in my marketing sharepoint my favorite one uh the documents library the file so i'm going to click on this folder so it shows me the uh, document library and all the folders and files inside of it so this file i'm actually working with is test dat uh xlsx and i only have one table in here so it's going to be table one so the reason i had to use custom expression was because when i Click on date format, date time format down here. You can actually choose serial number and ISO and it will convert that over. But for some reason, my Excel document kept sending the data over as, as like a general number. And I tried going into more number formats and changing all the dates around. It still wasn't working. I was just getting fed up. So I just decided to write a custom expression and uh, it ended up working. So for the daytime format here, I'm just going to not include anything. I'm pretty sure default serial number. So if you're able to get it to work with ISO 860, 8601, I'd go ahead and use that. But if you aren't able to, and you're not able to get it to work, I'll show you the expression. All right, so let's go to create item. All right, so I wanna create an item for each row in that Excel document. So the site of the also will be marketing. And this is my test data SharePoint. And when I use the dynamic content from list rows present table, it's going to put it into an apply to each. And that is because each value right here, we have to do this for every single row. And since there's seven rows, it's going to have to apply to each every row in that Excel. I know that took me a little while to learn why I did that all the time and I was super scary but it all makes sense now because it tosses it into an array so the food the sports so I'm just going to show you it failing right now so I just have birthday right here and it's going to try and import that serial number into the birthday date column and it's not going to allow that because it has to be formatted and has to be sent over as a date and it's sent over as like an integer of numbers so go ahead and press test it's going to ask me for the uh, connectors and it should take about a few seconds so as you can see we have a fail right here and i'm just waiting for the error message to pop up the so create item uh, is not valid import parameter byte birthday is required to be a type string date the runtime value 32914 be converted doesn't have expected format so as you can see it didn't have the correct format so I'm going to show you right now the uh, the format. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, you want to paste in the birthday and then press Control A, Control C to copy that value. So 
Now that value will look like this. And we're actually going to use that. So I'm going to open up Notepad. All right, so I have Notepad open. So I want to start writing my expression. So we're going to do an if statement first. And that's because if there's a null value passed from this. So if this wasn't here and I tried to import that data, it does power automate doesn't know how to send over a uh, a blank string over into a date field so you'll, you'll get another error in this if statement i'm writing will fix that so we're going to do if equals and let me see if i can zoom in right here if equals and then we're going to paste over the uh a dynamic content so it'll be the items apply to each and birthday and you want to remove the uh curly bracket and the at symbol so this equals is actually checking to see if birthday is equal to this blank string. So if this cell is blank, it's going to return true. If not, it's going to return false. And so we're back in the if statement. So if the if this equals is true, so if this is blank, we want to return null because we can pass null from Power Automate and uh, SharePoint list will understand that, hey, there's no value there. Now we're doing if the birthday field is not equal to blank. So there's a value there. We're going to want to do format date time. Let me make this bigger. So we want to do format date time. And then we want to do add days. Because basically what a serial number is, is it's adding all the numbers up from 1899. So it's adding all the days from after 1899, December 30th. We're going to close this up and then we want to do int. So we want to get the serial number and make it an integer so we can add it up on the uh, add days function. Now we're just going to paste the, the dynamic content that we have copied to the clipboard. And let me zoom this out, remove the curly brackets. And let me close this int statement up. All right, then we just want our format date time, which is going to be year, year, year month month day day and i will write this in the description so you don't have to uh copy it but i'm just trying to explain what's going on here and i believe i need one more parenthesis at the end just to close up the function let's go back into power automate we'll paste this expression and uh hopefully it's good to go it says no let's just check it out real quick all right so i just had an extra Parenthesis right here that I had to remove for the add days function. All right, let's go ahead and save this and we'll go ahead and test it with a manually recent run flow. As you can see, it was able to take the birthdays and import them successfully because it was actually a date field. Uh, let's look at the output. So from the list rows present data, you can see that the birthday was, the birthdays were all sent in serial numbers, but our function, our custom expression that we wrote actually converted them to dates and we were able to import that into our SharePoint list. So that'll be the video. Uh, I'll put the, I'll put the custom expression in the uh, description so you guys have it for easy use and hopefully this resolves some issues if you're running into that serial number to ISO 8601. So if you like the video feel free to comment, like, subscribe. If you have any video ideas feel free to leave them in the comments and I will catch you in the next one.